Hey guys, it's Tuber Video Games or Adam, and welcome back to another Treyarch Zombies Top 5. It is good to be back playing Treyarch Zombies again, and today we are going over 5 weapons that are worse when pack a punched. So today's top five was submitted by Pokemon Master Pyro. This was actually a idea I got during a stream. That's why there's no actual comment on screen. And when I first saw this idea, I thought it was a very, very interesting top five. And I didn't really know if it was possible to make this list. Obviously it is because we're doing the top five right now. But isn't the bag of Bunch supposed to actually upgrade your weapon? That's exactly what I was thinking. And after looking over every single weapon in Treyarch Zombies, I actually found a couple of guns that are significantly worse when Pack-a-Punched. And then I also have some guns on this list that are definitely slightly improved when upgraded because again, that's what the PAP does. But it has features that definitely make it not worth upgrading in the first place. Now before we get into our top 5, I do want to go over one thing that is quite important. If you guys are watching this video right now and you will love these Treyarch Zombies top 5 videos, please leave this video a thumbs up so I know you guys want me to continue doing them because I actually did not plan on continuing these top 5s after the launch of World War 2 Zombies, but after seeing World War 2, it's, it's a great game, but I don't think there is a ton of content to do on it. So if you guys want me to continue doing these Treyarch Zombies top 5 videos, go ahead and drop a like on this video so I know. Also guys, if you have any top 5 ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. If you see a comment down there or an idea that you like, leave that comment a thumbs up so I know you guys want me to do that specific Treyarch Zombies top 5. And besides that guys, let's go over 5 weapons here in Treyarch Zombies that are worse when pack punched. So coming in at the number 5 spot on my list, we have the M1A1 Carbine from World at War slash Black Ops 1 Zombies. And the M1A1 Carbine is definitely a interesting gun. Absolutely is better upgraded, it's gonna do more damage. But with that being said, is it a weapon that you should pack a punch? I would definitely say no, and here's why. So the non pack a punched M1A1 has a decent amount of ammo with 120 shots in reserve, 15 shots in a clip, but the problem is when you upgrade this thing. When you pack a punch it, you only get 150 shots, which is not good if you ask me. You only get an increase of 30 shots for upgrading a weapon. And then the worst part of it is when you upgrade it, you actually have it fully automatic. And having such low ammo and having the gun fully automatic and also the fire rate is increased by quite a bit. This thing just runs out of ammo so fast. And I don't know if there are any other guns in COD Zombies that run out of ammo faster than the M1A1 Carbine pack a bunch. It's absolutely absurd. On like round 10, 11, 12, if you're using the thing fully auto, you will not have enough ammo to get through the entire round. And by the time you're on round 20, there's just no way. You're gonna have to buy ammo constantly, so with that big issue with a PAP version, there really is no point in pack-a-punching this gun at all. It is probably better non-pack-a-punched. So coming in at the number four spot on my list, we have the flamethrower from World at War Zombies. And let me just start by saying that this gun, whenever you use this gun, you don't really take it all that seriously. It's one of those guns in COD Zombies that is just such a random and fun gun to use. And on top of that, this gun can only be pack punched on the World at War version of Doris. If the flamethrower was available on other maps besides Doris, or you could pack a bunch on Shinonuma, uh, this gun definitely would not be on this list, but the flamethrower is on a map that really isn't all that useful, or it's on a map you can pack a bunch, and having the flamethrower on Doris upgraded is... It's just, there's no point in doing it in a serious way. If you're actually playing zombies and going for a high round and trying, 
why in the world would you want to have the flamethrower and why the hell would you want to even pack a punch this thing now you pack a punch it is there a difference? Yes. I think the range is increased by a little bit. The damage is increased by a little bit as well. Only a little bit though with damage, not too much. And then there's less cooldown time. So overall, is it improved? Yeah, sure, a little bit. But overall, there's really no point in actually operating this thing if you're going to use it in the first place because the differences are so minor and again, you're not going to pack a bunch of flamethrower on Teresa, let's be honest. So coming in here at the number three spot, and one thing I quickly want to mention before we reveal the gun, this is where the weapons actually are worse when pack a punch. With the flamethrower and the M1 carbine, there's definitely an argument there saying, oh, those guns actually aren't worse when pack a punch. You know, some aspects are better, some are worse. With these guns right here, these weapons are truly worse than pa when pack punched and coming in at number three we have the SMR and not too long ago I remember actually saying in streams come on guys this gun isn't actually that bad when upgraded or overall it's not that bad and everyone likes ripping on a gun in zombies and the SMR is that gun obviously it's one of the worst guns in all of COD zombies but after using this gun over the last couple of months a lot with playing Black Ops 2 and stuff a lot of things surprised me about this weapon, and there might be one aspect of the Pack-a-Punch version you might not know about, you'll understand why I put this gun on this list. This gun right here obviously has to be some kind of a troll gun from Treyarch. I guarantee you, when they were thinking of weapons in Black Ops 2 Zombies, they said, let's make one gun an absolute troll weapon, and the SMR is that gun. It is so obvious, and let's let me go over the reasons why. First of all, this gun's accuracy is horrible. Even when you aim down sights, the shots go absolutely everywhere and it's so frustrating because if this gun actually shot and hit zombies and it, the shots went straight, it'd be actually pretty good. But no, your shots go all over the place and that's not it. When you upgrade this gun for the first time, you get a total of 420 shots with 30 shots in a clip and if you pack a punch it for a second time as soon as you pap it that second time your ammo gets cut in half you only have 210 shots and then 30 shots in a clip so you get penalized for double pack a punching this weapon again it has to be a troll gun and it is a gun that you should never pack a punch in cod zombies so coming in at the number two spot on my list i have no idea how a gun can be so bad so useless in its pack a punched form and that gun is the pm63 and this weapon has baffled me since the beginning of time. Well, actually, since the release of Black Ops 1 Zombies. But this weapon right here, guys, it is so incredibly bad pack a punch. This weapon truly is worse when pack a punch. So the regular PM63 is not the best gun in the world, but it's good for getting points, and that's really about it. It's a wall gun. Uh, of course, it is a submachine gun. You have a lot of mobility with it. It has a high fire rate, and again, you can get a decent amount of points with it so when you pack a bunch it this thing turns into the dual wield pm63 and this is where things go horribly wrong for this gun i wish in black ops 1 zombies there was an option to get your non pack a punch gun back from the pack a punch machine if that makes any sense now i know you can just go back and bite off the wall but it'd be so much better if you could go out of the pack a punch machine with a pack a punch weapon pack a punch it again and get the non pap version back it'd be so incredibly useful for this gun right here it would actually be an upgrade so the dual wield pm63s are horrible okay you have a incredibly high fire rate and the ammo goes from 100 shots in reserve 20 in a clip to 225 shots in reserve 25 in each clip now since the fire rate is so incredibly high, you burn through this ammo in a matter of a minute. Like, on around 
five, round six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're gonna run out of ammo with these horrible, horrible weapons, and I have no idea why this was even added into zombies because it isn't really even a troll gun like the SMR to me is the definition of troll gun it's funny but this right here is just flat out horrible and you should never ever 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 even think about pack-a-punching this gun right here so coming in at the number one spot on my list the one gun in Call of Duty Zombies that is actually truly worse when upgraded and yes it is going to top the PM63 and I really hate to have to put this gun in the number one spot on my list that weapon is the Wonder Waff. Now of course I'm not talking about the Black Ops 3 or the Black Ops 2 Wonder Waffs. those weapons are absolutely amazing but I'm talking specifically about the the World at War Duris Wonderwolf, and let me explain why. Whenever I think of the map Duris, the first weapon I think of is the Wonderwolf, which is kind of weird because in World at War Zombies, no one ever used the Wonderwolf because it was the worst thing you could ever do. Now, if you are unfamiliar with World War Zombies, or you just started playing during Black Ops 3, you might not know what's wrong with the Wonder Wolf in World at War Zombies. Now, the regular version of the Wonder Wolf is fine, it's a great gun, it's a Wolf, right? It's an amazing weapon, but when you pack a punch this gun, it is truly evil. At first, it looks like you just have an upgraded version of the Wonder Wolf. You have more ammo, what can go wrong? But the Wonder Wolf has a evil little feature that can ruin you and on World at War Duris, when you whenever you have the pack-a-punched Wonder Wolf and you have Jug, if you zap yourself, it pretty much takes away your Jug. Now your icon, your Jug icon won't disappear, but you will go down in two hits no matter what. As long as you zap yourself with that upgrade Wonder Wolf, your Juggernaut becomes completely useless. I'm really curious about this one thing in World at War Zombies because it's not on the BO1 version of Duris and it's not on the BO3 version of Duris. So was this a glitch or was it something that they did on purpose? And I honestly believe that Treyarch made it so if you wanted to upgrade the Wonder Wolf and have such a powerful weapon even better, you had to sacrifice your Jug. Now I might be completely wrong on that, but that is what I'm thinking happened with with this one gun right here but it's so odd that such a good gun was just absolutely ruined because of this one little thing and no one ever used it on the World at War version of Drake's at least the Pack-a-Punch version. So there we have it guys the five guns in Call of Duty Zombies or Treyarch Zombies that are worse when Pack-a-Punched and if you guys want me to continue doing these Treyarch Zombies top fives please go ahead and draw Drop this video a thumbs up and let me know what your ideas are in the comment section below. This is the one series that I actually really enjoy doing with Treyarch Zombies as of right now and it's the one series that I think you guys seem to enjoy the most so it's something I will definitely continue doing but again let me know what your ideas are in the comment section below and besides that guys I will see you in the next one. Peace out.